Jackson, and uh, Coach Diaco kind of talked to you about taking over the corner spot. Uh, you know, excited. Uh, something that I've always wanted to do. Uh, coaching uh, runs in my family, so um, you know, playing quarterback in college. You know, obviously involved in, in, in game planning and, and playing quarterback at the next level. Involved in game planning, just uh, a step I've always wanted to take in my uh, career. Guys talked about the, the energy that you bring to the table. I mean, is that part of what makes you? Uh, you know, I think everybody um, has their their personality and just kind of the way they they carry themselves and conduct their business. Um, the way I do things, I have a lot of energy, uh, just in general. Uh, and I just try to make sure that I bring that to work every day so that it can rub off on our players. How you know, much of it? And that, and that really comes from the top with Coach Diaco. You know, when he put the staff together, you know, that's what he was looking for, guys that are excited about coming to work. How much of a change are we going to see in the offense? How soon? And what is your stamp going to be? You know, as far as how much change, uh, you know, as we go out there to, to prepare, we're really just looking to, to put our players in the best possible position. Um, like we told our guys, you know, we feel like we've got some talented players uh, on our team offensively, and we've got guys that are good enough to, to help us win ball games. We just got to now, you know, put these guys in the best position possible to utilize all of their skill sets. How about stylistically, David? What are some things you really value in offense? Uh, you know, we definitely have got to improve, um, you know, our ability to, you know, run the ball. Uh, as well as, you know, we've got to do a good job of protecting the, the passer. Uh, so just doing things to, you know, accentuate those, uh, you know, those, those opportunities, you know, helping Arkell and Ron, uh, you know, be able to, you know, move the ball on the ground. Uh, and then, you know, we've got playmakers out there at the, at the receiver spots and just being able to protect to allow our quarterback to, you know, put the ball in those guys' hands. Does this change your role with the running backs at all? No. No, I'll still work with those guys. How has it changed your relationship with Coach Verducci? Obviously, you guys are... Not at all. Uh, Coach Verducci, uh, I mean, he's been helpful to me as when he was the coordinator. He's, he's been helpful uh, up to this point. I mean, Coach Verducci's a professional. He's been doing this almost as long as I've been living. So, um, you know, I'm still going to lean on Frank a lot. How much input had you had in, in the game uh, planning and what are you going to run? I mean, everybody on our staff uh, gives input, and, and Coach Reducci was good about taking suggestions from everybody on the staff. So, um, you know, we're still going to do the same thing as far as that's concerned. You know, just involving everybody as much as possible. Um, you know, obviously, everybody's kind of got a different style and a different feel for the way they, uh, you know, may call the game. So we'll just see how that plays out. Is there going to be a change at the quarterback position at all? Right now, uh, we're just evaluating everybody every day. That's what we do uh, with our program. That's what we've done with our staff. So, you know, that doesn't change as far as our quarterback position goes. So, um, you know, as we go out there to work, you know, every day is, is, is being evaluated. When did Coach tell you to switch in? Can you just describe that setting? Uh, you know, I'd, I'd rather keep that conversation between Coach and myself. But, uh, you know, he, he let me know on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Temple's one of the better defensive teams in the league. Is this a tough one to have your first offensive coordinator effort against? I mean, every team in our league is tough. I mean, you look at, uh, you know, some of the games that the teams in our conference, uh, some of the opponents they played and, and, and beat, and you look at, you know, recently, you know, teams that uh, – have gone down, and you know you, whether you call it an upset or not, you just, uh, it's a, a league where you got to bring your lunch pail every week. So obviously, you know Temple presents a challenge. Like you said, they're one of the top defenses in the league, and you look at them on tape, you can tell that they're well coached, uh, and and they're gonna you know play aggressive. What did they do well last year against you guys? Obviously, that was a that was a tough matchup for you in that one. I mean, last year when you when you look at that game, um, they had you know one of the top linebackers in the country, the kids playing in the NFL right now, and he was a problem. Um, you know, they did a good job of, of stopping the run and, uh, you know, almost kind of made us one-dimensional. And, you know, you got a defense with players like the players they have and a coordinator who's very experienced and a good good coach like the one they have. You know, we just got to try to make sure that we can stay balanced. Are there parts of this offense that have been underutilized? There's been a lot of talk about the tight ends and how much they've been used or not used. And are, are there different things that you you 
from the <clears throat> from the outside a little bit, you know, look in and say, you know, we can we can use these skill sets more than we have. I mean, that's what I kind of talked about uh, when somebody asked me a question earlier, uh, when it comes to just taking. Um, our personnel and just putting them in the best position to be successful. So whether that's, you know, the tight ends getting a little bit more involved, uh, you know, some other uh, skilled players get a little bit more involved and just having guys have some different roles, um, you know, we're going to do whatever we need to do to move the ball. What Along those lines, is one of your goals to get other receivers besides Noel involved in the passing game? I mean, I would say, you know, we, that, that's definitely something that we got to, we got to try to look to do. Noel is one of the best receivers in the country. Um, but at the same time, you know, we've got some other guys that have, uh, you know, some some ability and they can be really uh, high productive players as well. So um, but at the end of the day, you know, when the quarterback drops back, he looks down the field. If your first read is open, you throw it to your first read. If he's not, you know, we, we tell our guys, if the guy's open, throw it to him. If he's not open, don't throw it to him. So, uh, you know, we'll just look to you know, continue to push that way. What got you into coaching? Why did you want to be? Coach. Like I said, growing up, my dad was a, a football coach, um, coached college football for, I think, the first probably the first 10 years of my life. He's a Division II coach, coached at Livingstone College and Winston-Salem State University down in the CIAA. So as a little kid, I grew up, you know, at the practice field. Um, I thought it was cool to go to practice and, you know, I'd be out there drinking up all the water out of the water bottles and playing on the you know, the agile bags and whatnot and, you know, just that whole locker room setting. So, you know, that was always just something I wanted to do. What experience do you have in play calling the game? Um, caught a, a couple of uh, series at William & Mary once. It was funny, I was thinking about that last night because I thought somebody would probably ask me that question. <laughs> we had a game a couple of years ago, and um, Kevin Rogers is the offensive coordinator down at, at, uh, at William & Mary, and we had a headset issue. And so he had to make his way from the box all the way down to the field. And so, you know, for a series or two, I was, I was calling the plays. So, but that's, that's roughly it. I mean, other than, uh, you know, just being a player and just visualizing the things that you would like to see and do as a player. I mean, and, you know, whether you're an offensive coordinator or not, you know, during the game, everybody kind of has ideas and we all contribute, even when Frank was calling the plays, to helping him try to see, you know, what they were doing and, give ideas and suggestions for, you know, what may help us next. How'd those plays work out? Uh, you know, sometimes <laughs> they work out well and, and sometimes they don't. I think uh, well, the William and Mary ones that you get the calls. <laughs> we actually had some success. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, by the time Coach Rogers got back down, you know, he was able to you know continue continue moving it down. Mm -hmm. He was happy that I was able to, you know, make some some positive calls there. You kind of had some issues with the play clock, clock running out. Is one of your goals to maybe get the plays in a little quicker so that doesn't happen? I mean, definitely you don't want to have, you know, self-inflicted, uh, you know, injuries as far as, you know, beating yourself with, with play clock uh, violations and, and things like that. So, um, for sure, I mean, that's, that's something that everybody in the country that's, that's working on offense is, is trying to do, eliminate, you know, play clock issues. Have you been happy with, I mean, it's only been days since you talked to the team about, but have you been happy with the response of the offense to this change? Are they, are they taking accountability for what has happened in the past, or are they just moving forward? Are they excited? What's the... You know, I think that the guys, uh, you know, they seem to have a little juice, and just the way our program operates, the way Coach Diaco has built this, uh, this program, you know, if you're going to be a part of this program, you're going to take accountability, so... Uh, I think as an offensive unit, we understand, uh, you know, what we need to do and, and what's going to be necessary for us to help this team win. And I think guys are resolute to, to doing what's necessary. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.